The last time I showed you how to make a turntable animation in Dash Studio was with an older version of Dash Studio in which the timeline was not as revamped as, as it is in as of 4.12 I believe it must have been in an earlier version so at that point with 4.12 the big change was that the two plugins that used to be standalone things that you bought from the store were GraphMate and KeyMate. And those are features essentially that have been integrated into the regular timeline in Dash Studio. So one of them is, so you, can, you can set this on the uh, bottom right here. This is where these things are on this little hamburger icon. There's a thing called view mode and you have the difference between a basic, intermediate and an advanced view on the timeline and uh, when you switch this back to basic then you see that some of, some of the features are missing on the timeline and uh, that's what our regular timeline used to look like and then you have to buy add-ons to expand the timeline with these plugins but i suppose they've been subsequently sold to dash studio and the code has been integrated into dash studio 4.12 and onwards so now we have them all integrated so this is um, why i thought i'll show you another uh, version of the video, kind of an updated version. This was for virtual bees. He or she or they were wondering uh, how to make a key, how to make a turntable animation with the newer versions of Das Studio. So let me show you. I will go and bring in perhaps uh, just a regular gray Genesis figure. Let's do that. I always like the gray figures. And let's say I'll use the Genesis 8 female dev load for this. And Imagine this is a character and it's dressed up and you want to show her off from all sides. So you want to have something like an animation that spins around like, like this in, in a linear type fashion. So what you would do for that is ordinarily you would think about how fast or how slow my turntable animation is. I'll show you this with 30 frames first, which is too fast, and then we're going to make it faster. So 90 to 120 frames is usually a good guide. So the principle is that on frame zero, your character here, and we can probably give her a little pose as well. Let's do that. I think there's uh, there's something in the pose architect that makes her have a natural pose. So let's go, let's say this is the, this is the pose, perfect. So the trick here is that on your character with your figure selected under general transforms rotation, this is where you want to go, parameters tab, general transforms rotation, and we're going to tweak the Y rotation of our figure. So on frame zero, we want to have this locked in. So we'll go and set a keyframe. And then on your last frame of the animation, park the playhead over there, you're going to say that this is now rotated by almost 360 degrees. So I, I, I always err on the side of caution and make it 359. <clears throat> As I said, 359. There we go. And now when you move the timeline slider, your, fi your figure is going to rotate. And that's essentially all there's to it. So you're going to set a camera up on uh, on however you want to look at the figures, like make it uh, make it a square camera or whatnot. But yeah, this is how you then go and turn the figure. So if I go and play this back now, I will see that uh, one second is just way too fast for my turntable animation. You could play this slower. You can make it slower in a video editor, but this is the animation that you need to render out. But it's too fast. So. In for, for what I think is quite nice is that uh, to do it over 90 or 120 frames. And you can do that by changing the total duration of your animation down here in the bottom left. So there's always, Dash Studio has this habit that you have to calculate your total duration and add one frame. I'm not entirely sure why, but I will go and say at 30 frames a second times four, that's like four times longer than it is right now. That's 120 frames plus one frame, that's 121 frames. That's my total duration. And when I do that, I get these little triangles here. That means underneath here somewhere, there's a keyframe hiding and I'm going to go and find it by opening this up. It's in the properties, in the general section, in the transforms, in the rotation and on the Y rotate, this is exactly where that keyframe is. So I'll go and left click and drag this out now all the way over to the right hand side so that this rotational value that we've changed here is on the last frame. And then when I play this back, I, uh, I I have that, which is nice. So now I have a slower 
turntable animation and that's that's kind of you know kind of getting to the point that i'm i'm liking it but what isn't working just yet is the fact that the rotation kind of starts slow, speeds up and then goes slow again. So it's not a continuous motion. So if it, if it starts, it kind of uh, speeds up and now it slows down again and now it goes and slows down again. And that's, that's kind of the Bezier motion and that's also known as an ease in and ease out. And that's usually what you want when you interpolate motions, but not always. So in our case, we don't really like that. We want something like this to work continuously so I want her to rotate at a continuous speed and that is done by changing the interpolation mode of the actual keyframes so DAS Studio can make that happen and once again beforehand you needed that extra plugin for that but now we can do it for free which is kind of nice so what you need to do is on the actual keyframe so in our case it's the Y rotation you have to uh, click the keyframe and then right click on the keyframe and check the set keyframe interpolation to linear. So TCB is the thing that uh, we have we have right now. That's the default, and linear is the one that accelerates or decelerates literally over a over a flat line. And since we have two keyframes, we have to do that on both keyframes. You can either do that one keyframe at a time, or you can select both keyframes and then set both of them to linear. And when you do that, you can see that this little icon changes like really, really tiny. So T was TCB and this little L in the kind of diamond section, that is now the linear interpolation. So if I now go and play my uh, my uh, turntable animation, I can see that my lady is going to spin around as if there's no breaks in between. So this is now a continuous motion. And that is how you set up a continuous keyframe animation in Das Studio. So all that's missing now really is a camera that you point and some lights. You can leave it all in a kind of static position and just let the character spin. If you have more than one item that you'd like to do this with to show off on all sides, then you can put them all into a group and then animate the group instead of the character. So that's another tip. If you had two characters or if you have a character and a table and you know a little scene that you've built, you can put all that into a group and then just uh, use the group to interpolate this animation. And then Bob's your uncle, Betty is your aunt. There we go. Turntable animation in Das Studio.